David Boland from Racing's Inside Track TV and I'm here in County Limerick at Guitar Racing Studs which is Spring Lodge Studs and I'm here with Peter Maloney. How are you Peter? Yeah, very good, thank you David. It's a fine place. Yeah, no, it's a beautiful place. Um, I bought a Chick Fat and his brothers uh, there about four years ago and we've been sort of slowly developing it ever since. Um, and we've just, just completed this new, brand new yard now. 20 boxes, bedroom, and um, state of the art, it's fabulous. Yeah. And what's the plan now going forward? Now, how many horses do you hope to have in? Um, well, <coughs> we've been you know keeping all of uh, Sheikh Fad and his brother's mares that are visiting Irish stallions, um, and also um, uh, we're taking also outside borders, um, seasonal and permanent. Okay. Um, we've been lucky enough the last couple of years to have mares for uh, Arad de Monceau in France and Nuisance Park in England, um, you know, some of the top, top operations. Maybe some well-bred horses here over the next few years then, won't there? Yeah, yeah, I know we've already had some smashers and Invincible Spirits as Sea the Stars and yeah. Dubawis and okay. all sorts of things here. So. Um, it's great to be able to work with horses like that. And just this yard here, as you can see yourself, um, beautiful yard, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's fab. Um, so we sort of designed it so it's sheltered. Um, sort of that's southwest is that direction where all the prevailing wind comes from. So this okay. is it's a beautifully sheltered yard. Um, so that was the idea and the planning of it, really. So you're kept busy then. Yeah, no, kept going, kept going. So I've got my own farm just half a mile up the road as well, Rathmore Stud. So between the two places, um, we kept busy. So you're busy all year round then, because obviously with Qatar racing covering the flat horse and then your international hunt yourself then, so. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And then the stud season here and at home. And um, and then I cover all the racing in Ireland, the Sheikh Fad's horses, Qatar racing horses in Ireland with Jerry Lyons and Johnny Murta and Joseph O'Brien. And how many horses are you in training here in Ireland now? Um, we've had up over 30, uh, 35 at a time. Um, it's obviously dropped now with after the horse and training sales. A few horses and retiring. Um, but we've had, I think, 23 winners here this year. Um, it's been a good year. Nice, yeah, no, we've had a great, great year. Yeah, some nice stakes winners as well. So. And some plenty of horses now to look forward to for next year then as well then. Exactly, yeah, exactly. So we've, bought, we've got a lot of homebreds to go into okay. training. And then we've got, uh, we've, I think we've bought about 25 or 30 yearlings at the sales as well. So, um, and then there'll be a few bought of the breeze ups, no doubt. And will you stick to the same three trainers or will you try and spread it out and, and uh, cover no, more? I'll stick to the same boys now for the moment. They've done unbelievably well. Chair. Lions um, trained Shea Fad's first ever winner, Wade Giles. He trained his first ever Group 1 winner, uh, yeah. Lightning Pearl, won the Shugley Park for mm. um, So he's been fantastic for us. Um, well, and then Colin Keane won the championship this year. So it's brilliant, got, doesn't it? He's now got the Irish yeah. champion jockey on his team. Um, and Johnny has just gone from strength to strength. Um, he had a very good horse for us this year, True Valor, who he's done magnificently with. One stakes race, yeah. second in a Group 2 mm. in Leperstown. Um, so and uh, ran a cracker in Leverstown. So. He did, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just just beaten by uh, Suedos, who went on and won a Group One afterwards. Yeah, in Canada. America, and he ran yeah. very well the other night in the Breeders' Cup as well. Then. He did, he did, yeah. So we're really looking. Johnny will have True Valor is actually spelling here at the moment. Okay. Um, so uh, he's going back and training with Johnny before Christmas, and so we're really looking forward to him next year. I think he could be something special. And some very nice yearlings then. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, there's some lovely yearlings, so uh, as they both homebred and bought, so lots to look forward to. That's good, and Sheikh Fah had a few weeks ago in Leopardstown, then he got a great kick out of winning back-to-back -back races in the Corinthian Challenge. Oh, uh, absolutely. Um, I told him, I, I, <clears throat> I actually got given out to a little bit because um, I was seen sort of wagging my finger at him as we were walking in, <laughs> but I was actually telling him that he had just, you know, he'd given the horse a proper ride, Yeah. you know, and uh, brutal, he's, uh, he's a talented horse, but very difficult to ride, and uh, he timed his run beautifully, and then the horse tried to stop when he hit the front, but he kept him going, I think. You know, he, he gave him a good ride, so it was great. And talking to him afterwards, uh, geez, he got some kick out of it. I've never seen someone so happy. Yeah, 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 no, he loves it. He loves it. He absolutely loves it. And it's amazing, like, four years ago, as a bit of a joke, really, I asked him, would he ride? We, or I was organising a charity race here in Limerick, and uh, he said he would. And um, 
he hadn't sat on a, I think he sat horse twice in his life. And for four, achievement then, isn't it? Months later, he lost a load of weight and rode in the race, and um, well, we just got beaten by Johnny Murta, Kevin Darley, and Brian Murphy. Um, do you know well, so what he's done? And he's also rode in the Mongol Derby last year. Oh yeah, I've seen that. I mean, what he's what he's done is amazing. Fair achievement. Yeah, yeah, incredible. incredible. That's good. Well, listen, Peter, fair play to you. Um, thanks for having me down. It's a fantastic place, and uh, best look for the future, would it? Yeah, thank you. Thanks for coming.